G'day, Daniel here from Living Entertainment North Coast and as you can see in front of me we have the Audio Lab 6000A integrated amplifier and to the side here we also have the Audio Lab 6000N Play network streamer. And these are fantastic products, award winning products and I'm not going to talk about them. I'm going to tell you about something else. Yes, what you see before you is the Audiolab 6000A Play, the latest component in the Audiolab 6000 range. But what exactly does that mean? So this particular unit carries across the exact same rotary dials from the 6000A. It also brings across the exact same OLED screen. It also carries the same ES9018 Sabre 32 DAC chip which in and of itself isn't that important, but the way it is implemented absolutely is, and that's something I'll get back around to. And you get all the exact same digital and analog inputs on the back of the panel here, including a moving magnet phono stage phono preamp. And of course, it carries across the Aptix Bluetooth functionality as well. You're also getting the exact same class AB power amp stage, putting out 50 watts over eight ohms. So it's certainly no slouch in the power department. But that said, just like the original 6000A, if you choose to, you can also use this either as a preamp or a power amp, as well as just its standard integrated amp functionality out of the box. Of course, that also means you get all of the functionality of the Audiolab 6000N Play, which means that all of the world's music is right there at your fingertips via your streaming service of choice. And with that being the case, let's talk music streaming. So to get this particular product up and running on your network, you have two particular options. The first and my preferred way of doing it, which is the case across all streamers, is to plug it directly into your network via the ethernet port on the back there, because you will always get a far more stable connection via a wired connection as opposed to a Wi-Fi based one. But of course, depending on your system's placement, that's not always going to be an option. The second and I believe most common way of setting these systems up on your network is of course through your Wi-Fi network. And Audiolab on this particular occasion have decided to go with the PlayFi app as their app of choice for getting this thing up and running in that regard. Thankfully the PlayFi app is very straightforward and easy to get up and running. So I do recommend having your network name password and password type being handy when you're doing that initial setup because if an error does occur the PlayFi app can be a little vague in specifying exactly what's gone wrong when connecting it to the network so that is something to keep in mind now once it is up and running on your network you have a couple of different options for how you can stream my personal choice for this particular system is Spotify connect I found it to be the most seamless to use the easiest and the quickest and it definitely does seem to have been engineered with Spotify Connect in mind first and foremost. However, if you are someone who's using Tidal or Deezer or Cobuzz, you can also get those up and running through the PlayFi app should you choose to do it that way. And like I said, this being a network streamer, that also brings me back around to the DAC chip or digital to analog converter chip inside the box or more importantly, its implementation. A DAC chip on its own doesn't mean much. It's all about how it's integrated into the system's internals. Now, if you're looking for high res support, you're unfortunately not going to find it here. There is no support for MQA or DSD with this particular system. However, the quality of the digital analog conversion of this particular unit is absolutely fantastic. If you're like most people and you're more than satisfied with CD quality sound, this system will reward you in spades. And I don't know that I've heard another system at this price point that's DAC implementation rips out the amount of detail or gives you the level of information that Audio Labs implementation does here. And as someone who uses a standalone Audio Lab external DAC at home, the difference between it and this amplifier, despite there only being a couple of hundred dollars difference between them, is really marginal. It really is a fantastic system in that regard. 
Now in terms of pairing for this particular system, I am personally a big fan of pairing it up with the Wharfdale Diamond Range, the entirety of the Diamond Range. And it also pairs up really well with the Wharfdale Evo 4.1 and 4.2 bookshelf and stand mounting speakers respectively. And if you're a turntable fan, I have tried this with both the new Project Debut Carbon Evo and the Project X1 turntable and it sounds bloody fantastic with both of them. Now with all of that out of the way, let's have a close up look at the system itself. So starting on the front here, we have a selection dial. This will allow you to change the particular input that the system is currently running from any of the auxiliary inputs or digital inputs. Next, we have a dial to alternate between the system's preamp, integrated amp and power amp stages. So not something you should have to touch often, but it is a pretty little unique feature there. Then we have the beautiful OLED screen, the volume dial, and then we also have a headphone jack here and the power button right here. Pretty straightforward stuff for the most part, but let's have a look at the back because that's where things get a little more interesting. So as you can see, there is a lot going on here right now there are quite a few different inputs. So let's get started moving from this side. First of all, we have the power switch here. So even though there is a power button on the front, it basically puts it in and out of standby. If you really wanna shut it down, this is your guy. And of course we have our power input here. We have our first Wi-Fi antenna right here. Then we have our speaker binding post. Now this amplifier does only have one speaker binding post output, so something to be aware of if you're looking at running A and B speakers. Then we also have the setup button and this is for setting it up on your network manually as well as the 12 volt triggers on the bottom here. We have the ethernet port for manually plugging this into a router or network. Very, very important. And this is followed by the service USB. So if you don't have Wi-Fi access or anything like that and you still wanna update the firmware, you can download the Audiolab firmware from their website and put it on a USB stick and just stick it in the back here and it'll automatically update. Then we have four digital inputs. You'll see two coaxials and two opticals. So if you're interested in something like the Audiolab 6000 CDT or CD transport, that would plug into one of these via either coax or optical, or you could plug in your television, game console, although most don't have optical outs anymore, or any other number of digital inputs into here. Then so we have the second Wi-Fi antenna. So even in a cabinet where you might feel like the Wi-Fi strength is just a little weak, Having two Wi-Fi antennas really does make a difference there. This is our pre-out, so if you do choose to use this amplifier as a preamp, which it's well suited to, you can simply use this pre-out here to move that information onto a power amp. Then we have the power input, so if you're using this amplifier as a power amp, which would be an interesting choice, but the option is there, this is where you would plug in your preamp. And that's followed by another four auxiliary inputs. So any sort of legacy hardware can go into there. And then lastly, our phono input with the phono stage and here is our ground here. Sorry, your turntable is ready to go. And lastly, we have the Bluetooth antenna. Basically, that's the Audiolab 6000A streaming amplifier. Who is this product for? Well, I think if you have a pre-existing setup and you're looking at keeping, say, your CD player and turntable speakers, but your amplifier is getting a little bit long in the tooth and you're looking at getting into music streaming, this is a really fantastic option. You could, of course, get a dedicated network streamer and plug that into your amplifier, but the reality is sometimes it's nice to have less components and to keep things simple. And that's what's great about the 6000A Play. It really does keep things simple. It is a great streamer but you have all of these fantastic inputs on the back for you know, alternate sources as well. It, it fills a hole that I don't know many other products at its price point really do and offers you a level of functionality and ease that I don't know a lot of products at its price point can, let alone at its quality. Is there anything I'd like to see added in future iterations of this particular amplifier? Yeah, sure, I'd love to see a subwoofer output added in as well as a USB input so a PC could take advantage of the internal DAC. But I mean, outside of that, I don't really have any complaints. And realistically, in order to get something with this much functionality already at this higher sound quality, you're gonna have to make some choices in terms of inputs and outputs. And if the subwoofer and PC options have to go in order to get all the rest of this working at an affordable price point, I think it's a sacrifice worth making.
Now, if you would like more information on this particular system, you can find a link in the description below. Alternatively, you can always hit us up in the comments section or on social media, or if you're in Australia, you can either give us a call or even come in store and have a listen for yourself. We really would love for you to hear it. Now, thank you as always for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button or subscribe and hit the bell. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks again and bye for now. What to say about them, but I'm not talking about them today. I said corkin, like Macaulay Culkin, <laughs> instead of talking. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>